What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review or a squad review. Will This will be the Malaysia one, the deluxe national team selection pack. So you do get three login bonuses. You get three free spins at these. We will do that towards the end of the video. But first, we are going to take a quick glance over it. I'll keep this short and sweet, lads, because to be honest, right, there is only probably one or two good players here that I would say... Yeah, look, if you are playing a three-star squad or four-star squad, there are guys here that you can train up because they've got massive levels. If you have missed my other reviews on the Thailand one um, and the Indonesian one, I might have them up by now. I definitely have the Thailand one out uh, by the time this goes up. But yeah, I mean, there are like one or two hidden gems here. But such is the case, as I always keep reiterating, there's a lot of players on the GP market that you could get that might have as many player levels. Like you see here, this guy left midfielder, he's got 61 levels to go. That's a lot of training, a lot of grinding. And at the end of it, you're not going to get a player that's going to be better than somebody that you can buy for 32,000 GP or 50,000 GP, such as, you know, St. Maximin or even push the boat out a little bit more. If you've got 150k or 200k, uh, you could buy Dembele, or you could buy one of the top tier wingers or left midfielders like Saka or somebody like that for 200 and, you know, thousand or whatever. So I don't think that these guys are going to be too much to shout home about in terms of like, if you are like playing in division four onwards, but if you are looking for something different, or if you're looking to do a couple of challenges, or you're looking to just have a different experience, there are a couple of nice players here. So we'll start with the kind of the basic guys down at the bottom um even though they got 61 levels you can see here that he does have first time shot as his player skill amazing running speeding bullet but other than that i mean it's a very kind of standard card like he's obviously the team play style proficiency and you can train him up obviously you're going to be able to get him into the 90s with speed if you so desperately want to do that but you're not going to get his finishing over 85 if you do want that so you're still going to have a fairly decent striker and we'll take a look at a couple over on eFootball db in a bit but yeah it's going to take a while and it's going to take a lot of training points to get these guys up. So I would say that he's probably, you know, not really worth it if you do spin him. We will see who we get towards the end. You've also got this guy, Mansoor, who has got a few more player skills. He's got first time shot, one touch pass, true passing. He does have standard form as well, but he's a good pass uh, playmaker, creative playmaker, which is always a good play style to have for your center midfielders. Is he going to outperform Pedri? The answer is no. Is he going to outperform Gavi? The answer is no. So you're not going to be getting these guys, in my personal opinion, you're not going to be getting these guys to replace, you know, the stars that you've already probably built up. But if you are a newcomer and you get two or three of these guys uh, for free, they are a good way to introduce you to the game and introduce you to the mechanics of training up players and stuff because you can't really go wrong with these guys. This guy's got 63 levels. I mean, you don't need to worry about team play style proficiency. You can pump everything into his attributes. Next up, we do have this guy, Rasid Safawa, Safawa Rasid. And again, he's a fairly decent right winger. He's got some nice uh, skills, 76 speed and 75 acceleration off the balance, off the rip. Balance is 70. Amazing run, incisive run. Well, I think we will take a look at him or maybe it'll be the other few guys that we do take a look at. Uh, this guy is just your traditional left back. Again, he's got some nice player skills, pinpoint crossing and fighting spirit. C rating, un doesn't have unwavering form, just has standard form. Speed, stamina, acceleration, pretty decent. His defensive stats leave a lot to be desired, but he's got 55 levels. If you do want to train him up, uh, he's not going to be too bad. Next up, we have got Cools. This guy is a bit of an interest one, interesting one because he goes up to an 88 overall, I think. We'll have a look at him in just a second um, over here on eFootballDB.com. He's he's actually quite decent he's got some nice player skills dipping shot and pinpoint crossing long ball expert and his aggression and defensive engagement are actually very solid that you can get that up quite high um just you know with very very little training that you can pump the rest into his speed and stamina and stuff so when we actually do go over to football db you will see here that he maxes out at an 88 overall 92 speed 83 acceleration 84 kick and power 86 stamina and then defensive awareness engagement tackling and aggression is all fairly good he doesn't have that great passing or dribbling but they will get you know you'll get by with that i wouldn't worry too much about that that um he's obviously going to be one of those players that you can upgrade again in the future uh next up we do have one of the dmfs here who's the only dmf of this we've got abba 
who is again not going to outperform a lot of the players because he doesn't have any like playing styles he just has one touch pass and true passing which is nice 62 levels to go which is always nice as well uh, as a dmf but yeah he doesn't really excel defensively or in passing which is what you need so if you want to go get like a pass first dmf you go busquets you go tenali you go somebody like that if you want an anchor man you know, and you don't have Makalele or Edgar Davids or somebody like that that can be an anchorman, you go Barrios, you go somebody like that that can just be an absolute stopper, like an absolute monster in the middle of the park, like Goya uh, or somebody like that. So yeah, again, for me, he's a bit of a miss. Center back is also a bit of a miss here as well. Sad um he doesn't have that many player skills he does have interception but he doesn't have blocker he doesn't have heading he doesn't have anything like that he's quite short as well for a cb um so again you're not really going to be going to be like having him in your team against Haaland or against the, the players that are going to be dominating in the game um just your traditional kind of like very simple uh center back that is you know he'll do a job for you but he'll probably go up to like an 84 85 overall which isn't too bad i suppose but again it's not going to really change the dial massively for you now this guy here is a little bit interesting as well as we get to the kind of higher rank guys this guy does have some nice play styles amazing run speeding bullet he can play left wing or left mid which is always nice accelerate and balance are really really high at his base card there that you don't need to touch 61 levels to go as well he is a very sharp player but that could work in your advantage because some of the smaller players are actually able to be lightning quick with their animations and their run through of their animations and stuff so i would definitely check that guy out if you're looking to have a winger that you could get used to and build up and then last but not least before we go on to eFootball db again we have a goalkeeper which again is just your very traditional goalkeeper he does have goalkeeper penalty saver captaincy but other than that i mean you know he doesn't have the height he doesn't have the strength he doesn't have the 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 speed he doesn't really have anything going for him even when you train him up max now this guy is interesting right this guy matthew davies is very interesting we are going to go straight over to eFootball db he doesn't have any player skills he doesn't have any ai styles but he's a nice height he's a nice weight he's got a nice acceleration uh for his base card when he's got 56 levels to go when we actually go over he maxes out at an 88 so you're going to be pumping in about 20 levels into his speed and acceleration and then the rest are going to go into his defense and then a few for dribbling and passing but he's a very well-rounded right back lads obviously he does have two form which is a pity it's not it's a standard form not the unwavering one but defensively he's going to be very solid he's got a nice height that you're not going to get bullied by some of the wingers in the game speed and stamina is massive there for him as well so he's a fairly decent card and then last but not least we have hanapi who is probably the pick of him he's a right midfielder 90 speed 91 acceleration 80 dribbling 92 stamina 88 balance passing ball control tight possession very very good he does have a couple of player skills as well as we will see here when we go back to him he's probably one of the pick of the cards he do, or sorry play styles he has speeding bullet and incisive run no playing skills um but he does have speeding bullet and incisive run which is quite decent and he can play cmf as well so you could actually up his passing if you don't want to have him as a speed freak you know what i mean if you don't want to pump in i think i had to pump in like 14 into his lower into his lower body and then i had to pump in 12 into his dexterity you could pump a lot of those into passing and make him a cmf with a lot of speed there as well so that is it for me lads i will be back quite soon with another video hope you're enjoying these reviews we are on the road to twenty thousand subs so i do appreciate it if you guys could sub and spread the word let me know any recommendations of what you guys want to see for future content we'll be back on the weekend with some subscriber showdown so make sure you are subscribed to see the post that i put up with the room being open until next time lads peace